Mr. General Secretary and all of our guests, on an evening like this, as it reaches the hour of midnight, uh, we look back on the day and we also look forward to how we will evaluate this day. And with the entertainment that we've had, the refreshments, the good food, that alone would make it a memorable evening. But I think the General Secretary will agree with me when I say that it is our goal and it is our hope that this day begins a week of meetings which will make a greater contribution to the cause of peace in the world than any meetings ever held in this house. That is a great goal we believe we could achieve. Вас слово. Я разделяю полностью мысли президента. Мы должны сделать все для блага человека во имя человека. Just two words to say that I fully share what the president has just said. We must indeed do all we can for the good of man and for the benefit of man. And now as the host, I always get the last word. <laughs> I want to say to the General Secretary that all of the rest of you are invited to dance till one o'clock or later. But it's seven o'clock in Moscow and time for you to get up, not to go to bed. <laughs> the day begins. <laughs> President, Mr. General Secretary, Excellencies, distinguished guests. The two agreements to be signed today have been examined by the Acting Legal Advisor of the Department of State and by the Acting Chief of the Treaty Section of the Treaty and Legal Division of the Soviet Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The documents have been found to be in proper order. The first of the two agreements to be signed is the agreement between the United States of America and the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics on the scientific and technical cooperation in the field of peaceful uses of atomic energy. We shall now proceed with the signature of that agreement.
We shall now proceed with the signature of the second agreement, Basic Principles of Negotiations on the Further Limitation of Strategic Offensive Arms. Well, Mr. General Secretary and all of our distinguished guests, we have met in Washington and also at Camp David, and as this historic week is concluded, we think it is most appropriate that we meet here in California. And Mr. General Secretary, I've told you a lot about California, our most populous state, our most diverse state. There are 20 million people that would like to be here tonight to welcome you, but these are representative of California and they receive you, as you note, very warmly. 
As you have pointed out, the name of this house is La Casa Pacifica, which means the house of peace. And in Russian, I just heard him translate it, that's Dom Mira. Dom <laughs> Mira. That's right. <laughs> And the general secretary thought that this was a particularly appropriate place, this house and this state on the Pacific, to have our concluding talks. We believe that the agreements that we have reached this week will contribute to the peaceful word, world that everybody here wants and that the general secretary and I have been working for in our respective positions. And as we look back to this day, we hope that this name, the House of Peace, will be a reality, a reality in terms of the agreements that have been reached and in terms of the promise those agreements mean for not just the Soviet people and the American people, but for all the people of the world. Now, Mr. General Secretary, we are going to meet all the guests, but I should point out to our guests that we will have in our receiving line, uh, in addition to Mrs. Nixon and the General Secretary, Foreign Minister Gromyko, Ambassador and Mrs. Dobrynin, both of whom have come from Washington, and Secretary of State and Mrs. Rogers. Incidentally, the Secretary of State is celebrating his birthday, and nobody has celebrated his 60th birthday more often in more auspicious places than the Secretary of State. We, <coughs> we celebrated it Wednesday when the General Secretary toasted him uh, three, two days in advance at Camp David. And then the next day we celebrated it in the Soviet Embassy at the brilliant dinner party that was given there when both the General Secretary and I toasted him thinking that that was either the day or the day before. We finally have learned from Mrs. Rogers that today is the day, so we say happy birthday to the Secretary of State. And then finally, in this distinguished company, our leaders from political and business and life, as well as some of the people that both of us have seen and admired on, on the screen. I find in my personal chats with the General Secretary that he likes Western movies, as well as some others, but he likes Westerns in particular, and so do I. We have several Western movie stars that you will recognize. But because this is a house of peace, every one of them has checked his holster belt with the pistols at the door before he came in. Ladies and gentlemen, I have spent already several days in the United States of America. И каждый день господин президент Никсон устраивает для меня и сопровождающих меня товарищи новые новые приятные сюрпризы я не говорю уже о том что мы ведем очень полезные необходимые важные переговоры и успели подписать ряд очень крупных и важных соглашений утверждающих добрые отношения между нашими государствами между нашими народами и особое значение мы придаем документу, который мы подписали вчера господином президентом о неприменении ядерного оружия друг против друга. Every day President Nixon arranges for me and for the comrades who are accompanying me on this trip new surprises. I would also say that we are conducting very necessary and important negotiations. And we have already managed to sign quite important agreements which are confirming and consolidating 
the good friendly relations which are existing between our peoples and between our states. And I might stress that especially significant in this respect is the agreement we have concluded yesterday on the prevention of nuclear war. Я каждый день встречаюсь или с старыми своими знакомыми американскими американскими или приобретаю новых знакомых. Это доставляет мне большое удовольствие. Every day I meet old acquaintances in America and I make new friendships. And this is a fact which is a, a fact of great pleasure. Я особо хочу подчеркнуть и немаловажный факт, что именно сегодня я нахожусь здесь среди вас, именно в доме господина Никсона и его супруги. Это доставляет мне также большое удовольствие, и я не могу этого не отметить. Of the president and Mrs. Nixon, and I feel happy. Но и здесь мы продолжаем серьезную и полезную работу. До нашей встречи с вами мы уже потратили не один час для деловых разговоров. We are continuing with our serious and beneficial work here, and we have spent many hours in business-like negotiations. Сегодня я успел здесь, именно здесь, на территории Калифорнии, рядом с домом господина Никсона, обратиться к американскому народу по, по, при помощи телевидения. Я думаю, что вы, я не знаю, когда это будет показано, сегодня или завтра, но вы услышите все, о чем думаю я, о чем думает советский народ, как мы думаем строить наши отношения дальше. Today, here on the territory of California, quite near to the home of the president, I have addressed the American people through American television. I'm not sure when they will have this program today or tomorrow, but when you see it, you will hear my thoughts and the thoughts of the Soviet people. Я очень хочу, чтобы название этого дома, Дом мира, не был бы символическим, так же, как и наши отношения, чтобы они приобрели эпохальный характер и вошли бы в историю как знак мира, дружбы, взаимовыгодного сотрудничества, уважения между нашими народами, чтобы не было войны. I would very much like that the name of this home, of this house, La Casa Pacifica, would be symbolic. I would very much like that our relations go down in history as relations of peace, of friendship, of mutual respect between our peoples, so that there is no more war. В заключение я хочу еще раз поблагодарить вас, господин президент и вашу супругу, за то, я бы сказал, большое и приятное событие, которое предстало перед нами и передо мной и моими коллегами, что позволяет мне познакомиться с еще большим кругом американских представителей различных профессий и занятий. Это доставляет мне большое удовольствие. За это я приношу вам благодарность. Вам же всем желаю доброго здоровья, счастья и успехов в вашей работе. 
And in conclusion, I would like to express my gratitude to the President and Mrs. Nixon for this wonderful party which he arranged for us today. I believe that this gathering will permit me to acquaint myself with the representatives of various walks of life, of various professions, and I feel <coughs> very happy and grateful. Well, and to all of you, I would like to wish good health, personal happiness, and success in all your endeavors. Уважаемый господин президент, я хочу поздравить вас и весь американский народ с успешным завершением героического и очень крупного космического полета ваших космонавтов, с успешным приземлением их и пожелать им новых успехов в этой очень важной отрасли познания Вселенной. Прошу принять мои самые сердечные поздравления по этому поводу и прошу передать это и космонавтам. Mr. President, I would also like to congratulate you and all the American people on the successful completion of the heroic space flight on the occasion of the successful return of your astronauts. And I would like to wish them new successes in this very important area of human discovery and knowledge. And please convey my best greetings to them. Пожелаем и в будущем сотрудничестве, о котором мы говорили, нашим и вашим космонавтам, новых блестящих успехов в этой удивительной, я бы сказал, профессии мужества, героизма в сочетании с наукой. I would like to wish that our spacemen continue their cooperation. I would like to wish them new brilliant successes in, the, in their wonderful profession, which combines courage with science. Я не могу обойти молчанием э, того факта, что так случилось, что самым первым человеком, который поздравил господина Роджерса с днем рождения, это был я. Теперь я уж не знаю, когда действительно родился господин Роджерс, но тем не менее я присоединяюсь к новому поздравлению его с днем рождения. И Прошу, господин Роджерс, принять самые добрые пожелания от, моя, от меня и от моих коллег. Of course, I cannot but mention what has uh, happened here. By the way, I was the first who uh, congratulated Secretary of State Rogers on his birthday. <laughs> and now I'm all confused. What is really the day? when State Secretary Rogers was born. But anyway, I'd like to say that I also congratulate Mr. Rogers and wish him all the best. And you'll be interested to know that the General Secretary's uh, speech on television, which was filmed right here at the Western White House uh, this afternoon, will be carried Sunday night when I was in the Soviet Union uh, my remarks were carried to the uh, Soviet audience and his remarks will be carried to the American people. <laughs>